Hey guys! So today we are in my car because that's just where we are today. Um, it's beautiful weather outside today. Let's see if you can see it a little better. Here we go. Yesterday's weather was kind of crazy. We had two storms roll in um, and the one in the morning it had hail the size of golf balls. It was kind of scary. I've never seen hail that big before and I was by myself um, at the house that I'm staying at. I thought the, the house was going to break apart. <laughs> My car is thankfully okay. Everything's okay but um, that was a little crazy. Um, but hey, it's Missouri. Um, but anyway, today I just wanted to share with you some things that I have been reading in the Bible recently that have been encouraging me and I hope that today as I get to share them that they will encourage you too. So recently, I, for the past few days, I've been reading um, Paul's letter to the Colossian church and the thing I love about Paul and his writings is you can just feel how passionate he is about the good news of Jesus and how he just understands it at such a deep level of what it means for him and what it means for the entire world, um, who Jesus is and what he did. And he is just so passionate about sharing and making that known to people, whoever they are. And it was his, his goal and purpose um, to like go and share the good news to the whole world. And so in his writings, you can just feel his passion. And so today I just wanted to share um, a section where he's talking about the supremacy of Jesus, God's son. And um, if it doesn't make you like super excited about Jesus, then I'm sorry, but it makes me super excited. Um, so I'll just begin reading and sharing and um, yeah, so it's, so it's really good. So I'll be in Colossians 1, 15 through 23. Um, so it says, The Son is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. So I just think it's so cool how the God who is outside of creation because he is the creator. Um, he is spirit and he is invisible and yet he chose to make himself known in Jesus. And Jesus himself said that, you know, when you see me, you see the Father. And so we get to know this incredible God um, because um, Jesus made him known. And then it goes on to say, For in him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. He, through Jesus, he was before all things. And in him and through him, all things were made. Everything that we see was created through him. And if you just look around at creation, at the incredible intricacies, um, even, even our bodies, um, how they were made, it just makes me in complete awe of the creator that we have. And it says, he is before all things, and in him, all things hold together. So not only did he create all things, but he continues to sustain and hold his creation together. He is very much involved in his creation and just continues to hold it together. And it says, he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning and the firstborn from among the dead, so that in everything, he might have the supremacy. For God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, 
whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. God says he was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in Jesus. Jesus was fully God and fully man. And because he became a man and took on flesh, he was able to make peace between us and God through his blood that he shed. Through his death, he brought us peace with God. And it says, once you were alienated from God and you were enemies in your minds because of your evil behavior, but now he has reconciled you by Christ's physical body through death to present you holy in his sight without blemish and free from accusation if you continue in your faith, established and firm and do not move from the hope held out to you in the gospel. This is the gospel that you have heard and that has been proclaimed to every creature under heaven and of which I, Paul, have become a servant. Once we were alienated from God, that's, that's a powerful word. It says we were, we were enemies in our minds because of our evil behavior. We were separated from God. But through Christ and his death in his physical body, he has reconciled us to God. We could not have peace with God on our own. We, as enemies of God, there was no way that we could, we could restore that relationship and be reconciled. It was only because of the perfect person of Jesus and his sacrifice that he made on our behalf that we were able to now have peace with him if we have faith and we trust in his salvation that comes from only him. And and really, like in all of this, we see that this is nothing that we're doing on our part. It's all what Jesus has done on our part. And it's kind of like, you know, if we're trying to get into some fancy club, which I don't have any memberships or anything to even allow me to get into any of of those types of clubs. But, you know, if I go with someone who has those connections, they're just like, oh, hey, She's with me. And so even though I don't have any credentials because I'm with that person, you know, I'm free to go in. And just like that, because Jesus has brought out, brought that reconciliation, he has become our righteousness. And now we can be presented to God as holy in his sight without blemish and free from accusation. That doesn't sound like us. We, are, we don't sound like people free from blemish and accusation. That's only because we're with Jesus. Jesus is the one who allows us to be blemish free, to be holy in God's sight. And I just think that is so amazing. And so Paul encourages us to, encourages us to continue in our faith, established and firm, and to not move from the hope held out to you in the gospel. We have this incredible hope because of Jesus, and we're just called to hold on to that hope because Jesus has done everything. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Hold on to this hope and be encouraged, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.